welcome to final year c students in this lesson we learn cochran's theorem we discuss cochran's theorem what is cochran's theorem if we consider x1 x2 and so on xn are independently follows a normal distribution are the observations drawn or the sample observations drawn from the normal distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma square with mean 0 and variance sigma square then we consider some of the squares of these observations then we can if you consider some of the squares of the observation summation i is equal to 1 to n xi square is equal to q1 plus q2 plus and so on plus qk k independent uh, uh, ranks we have considered and uh, k quadratic expressions if you have considered summation i equal to 1 to n x i square is can be expressed as q1 plus q2 plus and so on plus qk where qj qj is a quadratic form which uh, with the rank from trying to say with the rank rj with rank rj qj is having a rank quadratic form is following a rank rj with the rank rj what is meant by quadratic form quadratic form is nothing but some kind of form which x transport to ax in uh, if you call the collective uh, of the definition from analytics uh, and quadratic form you get from x transport to ax so x 2x1 square plus 3x2 square etc like that so such form is going to be considered as I use that is the reason why you have specified that summation i is equal to 1 to n x i square is equal to that is x1 square plus x2 square plus x1 square is equal to q1 plus q2 plus and so on plus qk where every qj quadratic form every qj is a quadratic expression quadratic form in x1 x2 xn the sum of these squares of x1 x2 xn have you, have you understand whatever qj we have considered it is a quadratic form in x1 x2 xn quadratic form it is which meant by sum of these squares 3x1 square plus 4x2 square plus 5x3 square plus and so on such kind of form is qj which follows a rank which ha which is having the rank rj which is having the rank rj every x1 x2 xn follows a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma square with mean 0 and variance sigma square now what is what I, if, if you have you understand these three points first one x1 x2 and so on xn follows a normal distribution which are uh, taken some particular random sample is taken from the normal population mm, with mean 0 and variance sigma square that is the first point all the observations are taken from the normal population with mean 0 and variance sigma square then secondly we express summation i equal to 1 to an xi square is equal to q1 plus q2 plus and so on plus qk where uh, whatever qj and uh, right because uh, here i have specified i therefore i am specifying j qj is a quadratic form with uh, having the uh, with the rank rj now quadratic form is in this particular form it is not required and uh, uh, qj is a quadratic form with rank rj then what is the cochran's theorem cochran's theorem is nothing but uh, qj by qj by sigma square follows a chi square distribution with the degrees of freedom rj which means here the rank here the degrees of freedom whatever the rank rj qj having rank rj so same qj here we are considering the qj the quadratic form divides it sigma square divided by sigma square follows a chi square distribution with rank rj that is with degrees of freedom rj so cochran's theorem is nothing but whatever the quadratic form we have considered and divides sigma square the variance which follows it which gives it which is nothing but uh, which is a chi square variate qj by the ratio of quadratic form and variance qj by sigma square follows a chi square distribution with the rank with the degrees of freedom here with degrees of freedom rj provided summation 
right here provide is provided summation j is equal to 1 to k or j is equal to n provided summation j is equal to 1 to k or j is equal to n so now i specify or i specify again the covariance theorem now it is nothing but qz divided by sigma square follows a chi square distribution with the, with the degrees of freedom rj provided summation j is equal to 1 to k rj is nothing but n it should be n if and only if it is to be considered if and only if summation j is equal to 1 to k rj is equal to n qj by sigma square follows a chi square distribution with degrees of freedom rj and provide a defect only if summation j is equal to 1 to k rj is equal to n this is cochrane's theorem